Good evening. Hello. My name's Jack Riley. I worked in a restaurant when I was younger, but now I'm a famous chef. You can listen to my cooking show on Mondays at half past seven. This Wednesday, you can see me on the TV show Before They Were Famous. I'm going to tell you about my life before I became a TV chef. You can see the program on Channel Three, and they will show it at eight o'clock. People often ask me how I became so successful, and I tell them that it wasn't always that way. Most of my friends left school when they were eighteen and went to university, but I left school when I was sixteen. At school. I was a really bad student. I only passed my exams in history and French. I couldn't understand maths easily, and I couldn't write very well. So I failed my exams in both maths and English. English. I always enjoyed trying different foods, especially on holidays in Spain with my family. But I first discovered my love of cooking when I got a summer job working in the kitchen in an Italian restaurant near my home. The chefs there could make these amazing dishes out of really simple ingredients. I wanted to be like them, but I lived in a small village near Cambridge, and it wasn't possible to train to be a chef there. I applied for jobs in Rome, but I couldn't speak Italian. So in the end, I decided to move to London and train to be a chef. Today, my career is more successful than I could have ever imagined. I first appeared on TV in the Food sh Food Show in 2005, and I started presenting my radio show, Dinner with Jack. In 2006, I wrote my first best-selling cookbook, Jack's Best Dishes, in 2004, and I worked as head chef at two top London restaurants, the Olive Tree in 2001 and the Lemon Grove between 2002 and 2005. I'm married with two beautiful children. And my third child will be born in December. When I was sixteen, I could only cook soup from a tin, and I couldn't write a sentence without making lots of mistakes. Now I can cook over one hundred dishes and write books. I can't work for really long hours anymore, like I did at the Lemon Grove. That was the hardest I have ever worked in my life. And I still can't do maths.